All right, so Aquarius is described as the sign of Tataka Dayo Dharme, which if you follow the translation that I think is the most accurate, that means a maker of tanks and ponds and things related to shores. And so what's really interesting is, like I've said before that, uh, should have got myself more comfortable before I started making this video. Okay, so uh, I've said before that this has to do with why Aquarius is really into the fringe out there ideas. They're kind of just more out there, more eccentric, weirdo types, right? Because the, front, the shores is the outermost edge of the land. It's the outermost edge of what is known. So they're always kind of curious about new ideas, new things, what is not known. Uh, and, you know, these new ideas come from the shore. They come from the sea. And it also makes them progressive and innovative because new ideas and new things, like, would come from the sea in the old days. But what's also really neat about that is that this means slopes, this means shores, like Tataka, and Tataka Dayo means upper pertaining to, like this, this how this the ocean is sloping downward, but also uh, like any kind of slopes, you know? And so what I realized is, oh wow, Aquarius rules skateboarding and surfing, because skateboard, what are skateboarding and surfing, but you're going on these slopes and embankments and you're learning to ride on those and deal with those. And so, like, surfing, people are, they're riding the waves, they're riding the slopes. And so, yeah, I actually was really surprised when I kept noticing that Aquarius was coming up a lot with all these surfers and skaters. Because uh, I'm an Aquarius, but I thought that was just me, or I didn't think that would be the case for everyone, right? But it turns out that, yeah, um, Aquarius is actually the sign of skateboarding and surfing. And also probably snowboarding, but I just don't know much about that. So if you guys have any charts of snowboards or anything like that, please leave some comments, give me some feedback on that. But uh, but yeah, um, Kelly Slater is an Aquarius, you know, the most famous surfer on the planet. Um, it's really interesting because the what does what surfing and skating deal with? But the ankles, and the Aquarius rules the ankles and the shins. And you know, if... Uh, if, if an ankle injury happens here, then then a scurf, surfer or skater is done, you know? So it's like we're living and dying by Saturn, by the ankles. Isn't that interesting? And then Saturn's also the wind element. And so what's creating the waves? The wind. And surfers are really good at knowing the wind and the directions of the winds, and they always know their weather so well, it's really funny. Um, it's because they live and die by the wind element, you know, by Saturn. Isn't that fascinating? And skateboarders are always trying to get hang time. They're always trying to get in the air. They're always trying to get wind. You know what I mean? Like to have more pop, to have more, more of an ollie make, is the wind element. And, uh, you know, one of the only pro skaters that I've like looked at the chart of had an exalted Saturn, you know, and he had really good pop and was known for just ollieing like really high over everything. And, uh, I'm just, I'm just really fascinated by this kind of idea. Um, and, you know, think about how skateboarding and surfing are really unique things. They're not team sports, so they're all about unique individual expression. And that's what Aquarius is about too. Tataka Dayo Dharme, you know, Dharme uh, refers to your, the, the Aquarius being like the most devoted to their Dharma, which is everyone has a universal Dharma, the Sva Dharma to get enlightened, which Aquarius is also seeking. But they all have, we all have a unique dharma based on our own natal chart, our own, this one life. And that's also Aquarius. And that's an individual thing. And so this is why Aquarius is such an, a unique individual person and why they would like sports that had to do with individuality. I've always, I've really not enjoyed team sports that much in my life. I've always loved sports like skateboarding or surfing or things like that, um, which are not as much sports really. They're more like arts, acts of expression. And this makes sense because that they would have more of a wind quality, a Saturn, Venus, Mercury quality, rather than a fiery quality. You know what I mean? That's more competitive. And uh, that's the thing is it's, there's no goals, there's no points to be had, there's no competition, no ranking, there's no hierarchy, which is a fire element thing. Um, and skaters for the longest time have always, and skating and surfing is typically like very not into contests, you know? Um, and people that would do contests a lot wouldn't necessarily be the most respected skateboarders or surfers. Um, 
So that's all very interesting. And then uh, think about how it's uh, it's all about customizing the surfboard, the s skateboard, and it being a certain way. Again, symbolizing getting in touch with your individuality. And it's not really about who's the best. It's more about, in these things, it's more about style and who's the most fun to watch, you know? And again, it's about accepting our individuality more so than fighting or compensating. Even though people might think that that's what skating and surfing is like from the outside, like, oh, who can jump the most stairs or whatever. But that's really not what it's about to the people who are really into it. Um, and you know, uh, skateboarding started by draining pools, you know? so. This, the surfing is born out of the wind element, the wind, like I was saying, but then skateboarding was born out of surfing and it started by sidewalk surfing or cruising around in your driveway, a little slope, you know? So Americans started out doing it that way and then they started finding pools and they started draining pools and skating around in pools. So you see it was born out of this slopes and the sea and the ocean and the, the things that contain the ocean. And that's what Aquarius is, is literally Aquarius rules pools. Um, and uh, ponds and things like that. Uh, and then it's funny because Saturn's enemy is Mars and Sun, and that's like the cops. Those plants were the police, and they're the ones who are, always, who are like the only enemies of skaters, or they're always get kicking us out of spots and whatnot. Uh, yeah, so I just found a lot of neat like connections. The skateboard, even the tail of the skateboard is like a little slope. That's what made us able to really take skating to the next level. We couldn't learn how to ollie or get off the ground without sloping the tail and giving the board more leverage. So once we added a slope to the skateboard, it became what it was known for. Ah, oh, man. I just love how these sutras of the sages have so much to unpack even in the modern world. I just love it. So I hope you guys enjoy that. And uh, thank you. Yeah, leave me, leave me some feedback if you've got any charts of any skaters, surfers, or uh, snowboarders in your database or any feedback on that uh, and then the different planets you'd have would 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 have to do with maybe whether you would surf if you have more watery planets active there maybe more earth planets or you know what I mean it could determine the type of sport you're doing so it's really fascinating all right thanks you guys and then um, yeah if you are interested in learning more I am uh, teaching Vedic astrology through uh, my online school. There's a link below, so check that out if you are curious to take your studies further. All right, thanks, you guys.